manager kicks old lady out of restaurant, then discovers who she really is. And a restaurant manager throws an old woman who looks like a beggar out of his establishment without knowing who she really is. Life is never a constant. It is always changing, and you must at all times be receptive and kind to the people around you. After all, you never know when you yourself will need help. Anthony, a 17-year-old boy, worked part-time in a very expensive restaurant near the town where he lived. As a young man, he was responsible for his younger sister and also for his sick mother. In the morning, he would go to school, and in the late afternoon, he would go into town to work until evening. The money he earned was barely enough to live on, but in spite of this, his behavior made him one of the nicest waiters, who was always friendly with the customers and played with the children who came to the restaurant. One day, while Anthony was performing his duties and was carrying the order from one part of the restaurant to another, the door opened and an old woman walked in. Her gray hair was covered with a wet handkerchief, and her clothes were torn in several places, and she was a little dirty. The woman leaned against a chair near the exit and tried to catch her breath. In the hallway, a disgruntled man began to whisper, and visitors began to badmouth the woman. She unhappily could not tear her eyes from her embarrassment and finally began to walk. Trembling and stumbling, she reached the nearest table. She said quietly, I'm sorry, Hutes, I didn't mean to disturb you, but I haven't eaten anything today. If you can... But before she could explain her situation, a bald man dressed in a suit and tie appeared nearby, grabbed her by the shoulder, and pushed her towards the door. She stumbled twice, but the angry man didn't care at all that the old woman fell down and couldn't get up. Her legs were shaking, and now she had to walk down the stairs. Then she began to walk down the street, looking through the glass doors of the restaurant. She observed how hot it was inside, and how many people came there to warm up with a cup of coffee, gathering strength. She got up and went to the alley where there was only one entrance from the back. At that moment, the restaurant manager, the same one who in a few minutes threw the poor woman out of the establishment, apologized to all the customers of the restaurant and even went so far as to offer a dessert as an apology. Anthony, who was present in the room during this ugly scene, decided he had to do something for the poor woman, ran out the back door of the restaurant and found the old woman. The young man reached into his pocket and pulled out the only money he was earning that day. Things were not going well for him, and expenses were getting higher and higher, but at least he had a house to go back to and food. So he walked up to the old woman and put all the money in her hand. She looked back at him and saw the kind face of a young man smiling at her. The old woman fixed her gaze on the boy's eyes and burst into tears. Thank you, she whispered to him. That is the kindest act you have done for me for the last few years. A week later, Anthony's life was still the same, going to school, helping his sister, and taking care of his mother. And then at work, he was trying to be his usual self. He maintained good relationships with his co-workers and smiled at every customer. At that moment, the doors of the restaurant opened and a very elegant woman wearing a wide hat and costume jewelry entered along with other equally well-dressed people. She was wearing a long black skirt that matched perfectly with a white leather jacket. The woman clearly had not only a lot of money, but also great taste. She sat at the best table in the restaurant and soon the manager himself approached her and not knowing what else to do to please the important customer, he called Anthony to immediately execute any request from the customer, whereupon the manager smiled at the woman and respectfully she handed him the money. She noticed how a man tried to flatter her and smiled back. The manager told her about the restaurant's best dishes and offered to bring her the order personally. Surprising everyone, the woman replied, I'm sorry, but I would not like to be served by such a superficial person as you. The manager looked at her with resentment and asked her why she said that. The old woman who was looking at the menu at the time looked at the man and began to explain her behavior. I was very scared and confused. I was a victim of assault a few meters from here, so I went to one of my restaurants for help. I wanted to stay in a warm place until my children came to pick me up. After that, I realized that I hired people who do not feel even a little sympathy for those who need help. The manager immediately remembered that day and how rude he was to that old lady. He felt extremely embarrassed and asked her for forgiveness, to which she replied, Don't worry, I accept your apology, but you must understand that I can no longer have such a heartless person running my business.
So the woman was silent for a second and she turned to Anthony smiling at him. It is people like these young men that I need in my business. What is your name, young man? My name is Anthony, he replied. Then Anthony will be a new manager of my restaurant chain. I am very happy to be your manager. I thank you for being so kind to me that night. The young man still couldn't believe what was happening to him. He thanked her for the kindness and when he was finally left alone, he burst into tears, thinking that now with the new position, he would be able to pay for his mother's treatment and everything needed for his family. After the training for his new position, Anthony became a very efficient and friendly manager. He reorganized the work of the team and this was reflected in other businesses. The restaurant started to be frequented by more and more people. Overall, Anthony found his place and was able to provide his family with everything they needed because he acted with conscience and love by helping a person when they needed it the most.